ಹಲೋ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ವೀಟ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ಡಿರೈವೇಷನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಐ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನೇ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಏನೇ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದರೂ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಟೀಚ್ ಯು ದ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡಿರೈವೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವತ್ತೇ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಏನು ಬರೀಬೇಕು ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಯಾವತ್ತೇ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ನಂತರ ಏನು ಡಿರೈವೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಡಿರೈವೇಷನ್ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ಸೊ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ವರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಸಮ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡಿರೈವೇಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಡ್ರಿಫ್ ಫಿಲಾಸಿಟಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಟು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಎನ್ ಈ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಎನ್ ಇ ಸ್ಕ್ವಯರ್ ಟೌ ಬೈ ಎಮ್ ಅಂತ ಆ ಡಿರೈವೇಷನ್ ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಹವ್ ಮೇಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಡಿರೈವೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಡು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ನ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಚೆಕ್ ದೋಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಯು ನೋ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಡಿರೈವೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವನ್ ಟು ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಫುಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎನಿ ಡಿರೈವೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಸೊ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ವರಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾಲೋ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೀಟ್ ಸೌನ್ ಬ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೀಟ್ ಸೌನ್ ಬ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸಮ್ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಅನ್ನೋನ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಯಾವುದೋ ನಿಮಗೆ ಬೈ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅನ್ನೋನ್ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಟ್ ಬೈ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಅನ್ನೋನ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇದನ್ನು ತುಂಬ ಸತಿ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಜಾನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೀಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದ ಯು ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ದೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ಯು ನೋ ಡಿರೈವ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ವೀಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಬ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೆ ವಿಲ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮೆನಿ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಟೈನ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ವೀಟ್ ಸೋನ್ ಬ್ರಿಡ್ಜ್ ಅಂತ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಅಂದರೆ ಯು ಹವ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೆ ವಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಹವ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ದ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡಿರೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದೇ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಲ್ನೋಮೀಟರ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಐ ಹವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಟಿ ಯಾವತ್ತಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದರು ಆ ರೀತಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನೋಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಪಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ವರಿ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯಾವತ್ತು ಏನು ಪೆಟ್ ಕೊಡಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ದ ರೇಷಿಯೋ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಟು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಬೈ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ 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 ಟು ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದ
can directly come to diagram. So I have written all the diagram. So again with the diagram. So here, so understand current goes like this. Alma. So current in over this a current obviously split into two ways, I even and I term. I have taken same notations as NCRT. You can also take P Q R S, no issues. And I even I2 split out then the I2 here the over then you have I4 and IG comes, some current comes, and some current is flowing to galvanometer, and I4 comes like this. Again, I1 comes like this, and I current, you know, IG is coming in this way, and I3 goes like this and comes out as IC. So how much is going inside as the current also burlave? Just imagine pipes and how much water goes like this, that much water has to come out. Okay. Here and sometimes you may say, sorry, why should we consider science like this only? Can I consider in this direction? You can do whatever you want. So if you have the direction, but you calculation all the negative current minus phi and birth that means what direction you assumed is wrong. So that is opposite direction. So but calculation is easy to So anyway, so this is not about calculation, this is all about you know derivation. Let's come to derivation now. Here, so you have to apply the rules, yeah, Kirchhoff rules on this KCL and KBL. KCL is very simple, you can just say you have to apply KCL as a generation B and D. Applying KCL. So applying KCL. So write all these steps. Applying KCL at junction at junction B. Okay, and you will pretend that very basically at junction B, you are applying here is okay. Current I two is coming and I four is going. I G is coming like this. So I two must be equal to uh, I four plus I G. This is like incoming current must be equal to outgoing current. That's called KCL. KCL is if the current band has touched over because we know this incoming current must be equal to outgoing current. Or you can say the current at any junction is zero because yeah, the current will stay out. Whatever comes, it's going to, it's going to go out. Okay. So I2 must be equal to I4 plus IG. Okay. Similarly, applying KCL at junction B, or you can just write single statement at junction B and at junction at junction uh, D. So at junction D, what are you getting is either junction B out there, junction D at Rodre, I1 is coming like this, IG is coming, I3 is going out. And I can clearly say so I3 is going out. So you can say sum of incoming currents. I1 plus IG that must be equal to I3 and then you worry about So you do you have to write applying KCL at junction B at junction D. So whatever coming current it goes like this. So incoming current must be equal to outgoing currents. So that's why this is coming like this in and that's going out. So H2 current one that's over here. Under balance condition. So again, under under balance condition. Balance condition under you know. So when there is no current flows in the IG, under balance condition. That means the no current flows in the element IG is zero. You can write statement also here if you want. That is no current flows when no current flows flows in galvanometer. Okay now. Next afterwards, IG is zero. And then what happens in this equation now? Now I2 will become so since IG is zero, I2 is equal to I4, and you can write therefore. Therefore, I2 is equal to I4. And you can say I1 equal to I3 at the very clear, I guess. So you have to write a statement applying KCL at junction B at junction D. You have to write this. And under balance condition, IG is 0, I2 is equal to I4, I1 is equal to I3. And then you know very common sense. If there is no current flowing here, in our time, so whatever current comes like this, it goes like this, right? Say I1 is equal to I3. It's a common sense. If there is no nothing is flowing in this, you can just remove this. Either just current delivery in go to there is no current flowing in this. That means I1 equal to I3, I2 is equal to I4. That's a common sense model. So once you understood this much, next step when you have to write that, applying KVL now. So you have to consider the loops. Right? So you have to consider this loop and this loop. I have taken the loop in the clockwise direction. You can take whatever you want. Anti-clockwise, clockwise, whatever you want, you can take it. And so you have to consider the sign conversion to more important too. Uh, that's one thing, competitive exams are questions about that. Even when you go for your next year, electrical engineering, electronic, basic uh, basic electrical engineering is there on topic. That's why KCL, KVL are the most questions. Even next year when you go to engineering, engineering or BSc electronics, electrical engineering, you have to have basic electrical engineering. That's why the most questions are there. KCL, KVL, you should know the sign convention very well. Okay. Here, even numerical control style. So I'll just briefly quickly tell you the line convention. So in Gotila and one word. So you remember this one will resistor. If the current is flowing in the resistor in this direction, 
and if you are walking in this direction ee rite nee hogta idre it's negative same direction negative irutte for resistor same direction negative so and then when you take you know uh, battery so we take again so whenever i go from positive to negative like this if you we landing terminal so what is called landing we all land at that you other sign bun negative so take negative so you can take whatever you want or you can interchange this also so when your resistor comes so same direction negative opposite direction positive and he'll be landing in land at your jump no for example is there is a battery is that you're jumping and landing so landing in sign is adu mat tagoli actually artha idu alva it's very simple right so ee rithi ni artha maadkobeku okay iga i hope you understand sign convention let's go to the directly question now iga enu idu illi very simple nodi imagine the red line so you are walking so you are walking like this nadkonu hogta idira you nodi loop alli nadkonu hogta idira hinge aita so ee nadkonu hobekandre enu hotelli so when you going across the resistor you are going and the current is in your direction so it's negative alva so what is the no, applying kvl applying kvl so applying kvl so switch off voltage law apply madana total voltage see some of the voltage drops across you no know, resistors and the batteries if you add everything that should be equal to zero and that, that's the kvl basically for example this one battery is that one single circuit or one battery matha one resistor so it will issue voltage kodthu as to drop out alva so if you like if you get 10 volts from the battery and 10 volts get dropped across the resistor so i don't add madaga using sign convention and zero avutte one plus 10 and minus 10 irutte add zero irutte that simple kv nanare so andre yavde one loop tagondre sum of all the voltage drops across the resistors and the, whatever the batteries are the taking sign convention it should be zero anta so voltage and resistance current into resistance i2 into r2 so basically you know the i2 into r2 Uh, you are going same direction, so negative by the minus I two into R two, and the you are coming like this, this direction. Again, you are going. See, you are not going to turn this one. So I G into R G. So R G means resistance of the galvanometer I have taken. So again, same direction, minus I G into R G, and then you are going like this. You look at now in this resistor, you are going against. You are not going to turn this one. And the current opposite bar side. So take it as positive. So I one into R one. that should be equal to zero arth aitha so under balance condition anyway we already know we ig is zero therefore this becomes zero again now thinga next in antara ga so now it this becomes minus i1 i2 r2 i1 r1 is there so it becomes now i1 r1 equal to i2 r2 nu baritini so you can take this as a equation one so many sometimes some students are avadane ili y equation one equation two equation three equation four equation four equation five equation six like that all you write not required so much so you it's understood for the examiner that you are you know you're taking i2 is i2 i2 is i4 you approved i1 is i3 you approved so when you're taking somewhere it's understood for the exam you don't have to write for everything one equation one equation two equation three equation four equation five equation six equation 10 like that don't write so much so try to write you know applying kvl to the loop loop is important what loop i have taken a b d a so a b d a artha aitha so iga i1 is equal to i1 r1 is equal to i2 r2 in equation one only now let's take one more now so one more loop so come to second loop applying kvl to loop which one now so same direction ing hogte ange thombeku b c d b so applying kvl to applying kvl to k b c d b b c d b alva so loop you can write the word loop applying kvl to the loop loop okay iga again matte neeve apply mari iga suppose so you are going in this direction alva so iga now take for example minus i4 into ing hogta idira alva iga so you are going same direction current in same direction so minus minus i4 i4 into r4 nantara uh, again it stays now this is what basically i3 into r3 then afterwards so uh, again as again that is also plus uh, ig into rg that must be zero anyway this is term is zero because under balance condition here you have i3 r3 that must be equal to shift that side that is i4 r4 in the bare break actually and so then this is equation number 2 and the concept mark now dividing equation 1 and 2 or you can say from equation 1 and 2 from equations from equations 1 and 2 what you can say or you can say dividing equation 1 and 2 so now i1 r1 i'm dividing right hand side i1 r1 
divided by I3 R3 that must be equal to I2 R2 divided by I4 R4 and we clearly cancel it itself because, because we know I1 is equal to I3 therefore these two will get cancelled and we also know I2 is equal to I4 these two will get cancelled therefore we get R1 by R3 equal to R2 divided by R. This is the condition for uh, no, uh, derive the condition for question in Kelton usually. So they ask you like right, obtain the condition for the balanced weak stone bridge. So this is the condition for balanced weak stone bridge. The inga then pit combo do, but usually none say so what I remember is R1 into R4. The opposite diagonal R1 into R4. So I remember usually in this way R1 into R4 that must be equal to R2 into R2 into R3. R2 into R2 into R3 that's all about it. So here is the artha So you can write the end. So the uh, so above is the condition. So in the birth bit, you have to underline in the uh, so box up to so required condition for condition for uh, condition for a question only uh, for the balance of the weight zone required condition for for the balance of the weight stones bridge and then your example perfect out. So and then people don't worry see you sometimes see if you muckly you know they are suppose uh, you just have to remember in this way r1 by r2 must be equal to r3 by r4 or sometimes you can get even r2 by r1 is equal to r4 by r3 and no problem or or in the or in simple way you can remember r2 into r3 must be equal to r1 into r4. That is the best thing. Or sometimes in examples examples, the PU books are they given like PQRS. In the P, in the Q, Matail R. Anyway, any, anyhow, don't worry about whatever notations. So in that case, you can write P by S is equal to Q by R. Or you can say P by Q is equal to S by R. And the elbow. So you can do anyway, no? R2 by R4. If you want, you can say, you can bring, you know, uh, R2 by R4. So R2 by R4 must be equal to, you have here, R1 by R3, I got in that way, or you can say R1 by R2. So look at here. This is mathematics, since I am a mathematics teacher, Alva. So if you want this condition, you can even modify however you want. If for example, this condition now, what I will do is uh, if I divide, you know, uh, for example, I can interchange. So I can say R1 into R4. R1 into R4 is R2 into R3. Now I can write if I want R1 by R2. That must be equal to R3. So R3 by R4. Now we have to be able to do this. So R1 by R2 equal to R3 by R4. Or R2 by R4. R2 by R4 is equal to R1 by R3. Or R2 into R3 must be equal to R1 into R4. So don't get confused. But you should know everything. In the board exam, so competitive, not board exam, competitive exam, questions are questions. If you're able to answer in that, okay. I hope we soon be jartai and kundi. And also, I always tell first derivation complete watch maadi. Then you write without saying one along with the statements, description, diagram, and whatever you're doing. Like three conditions. Only more is basically one do applying KCL. This one condition under balance condition. Then applying K KVL and again KVL to one more loop. Then getting the equation. So it's two steps to worry about that. If you write this much steps, you will get five out of five in the in your board examination okay thank you so much for watching it hope you understood and thank you so much for watching have a nice day see you in the next video bye bye take care